I'm kind of in a phase here on this King where I've kind of shown you per episode what I've got going on because I've had a lot going on. Right now, there's just a lot of little things and they don't really make an episode, but I hate to not catch you up and let you know, you know, what these little things are. So I think maybe uh, I'll do an episode of just a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there, a couple minutes here, just so that the next time you see the king, you're like, well, when did he do that? Hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of these videos, would you hit the like, subscribe, I don't know, ring the bell, and you know how to leave me a comment. Appreciate you guys. You're the best. So <clears throat> the first thing that I got to do today is this is the vent hood over that Dixie stove. And it has this vent right here. That goes up into the cabinet, and then there is a little, uh, kind of a weird shaped little vent that takes it outside that we rebuilt. Maybe I'll get a shot of that if you don't remember it from uh, the previous video. And uh, you can see it's kind of, the paint's not looking real good. And we don't want this color anyway. We want to make this the same as the stove. We're going to put some... Uh, some white paint on here. Maybe go get some appliance enamel, put it down. But uh, one of the cool things, remember that vent is right here and you can either turn the vent on, turn the vent off. Maybe it uh, makes a windy noise or something when you're not cooking. So, you know, you just unscrew this thumb screw a little bit and you can turn it like that. Now it's closed. You can push that down and that'll kind of make a better seal. And if you want it back open, just open that back up. This little guy right here, I think there was a propane light right there by the stove. That's not there now. So we'll probably just put that back on because it was original. And that just created a little air space so that it didn't turn it black or burn it up like it did here. Because as you can see where this heat got on this paint, it really scuffed it up. But over here, it's not so bad where we have that. So we'll put it back on there. So <clears throat> all I'm gonna do today is I've got my little green scour pad and uh, some uh, cleanser. It's got the, you know, it's, it's real rough, really. It's, it's not completely like, uh, you know, just pouring the powder on there, but it's a, it's a softer scrubbing kind of thing. I'm gonna take that and I got a little water over here. I'm just gonna scrub this down and primer it up paint it nice. Um, I really, the only part you'll ever see on the top is, I don't even know if you can see, but you can kind of see a difference, it is right here. That's it. You won't see anything back here. You won't see any of this. Never see it. We're still going to clean it up. But under here, we're going to take this off, take this off, get these screws out of here, clean it all up. Because when you're cooking, you're going to see all that. So I'm going to clean it up get it going, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, and then we'll go on to something else. All right, I wanna show you kinda of how it turned out. Looks real sharp so far. Don't worry about this, that's gonna be underneath the counter. Just this outer lip is really gonna be showing. Let me show you underneath. That came out real nice. Looky there, how about that? That's sharp. I'm going to install it. You'll see it on the reveal. And uh, I'm going to get on to the next project that's only going to take about two minutes so that you can see these little projects that I am starting to... Uh, that I'm just starting to wrap up and I just want to... I just don't want to leave you behind. Check it out. Project two that I didn't want to leave you behind. As you can see, I'm right here by my dinette seating, and right here in my hot little hands, I've got our dinette table. The lighting in here is terrible, but I did not want to leave you behind. So, I've got to get this mounted. So, let me hurry up so we're not sitting here talking in the dark. People will start talking about us. So, I'm going to take this off. Now, this is, parts of this is, uh, you know, it's just going to be very important. So, 
we've got to kind of get this centered, kind of. And remember, we want this to be level. I've already leveled the floor, I've leveled the bed, I've leveled the seats. Now I've got to level this. Got my leg, got to go up, up, down, down, right here. I'm going to make just a little mark. I'm going to drop down just a touch so that I can cover that mark up. So really, the height is going to be determined by this leg. And that's okay because that's factory. I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to take my measurement right here. So from, I'm going to go from the window down because I know what this measurement is. It'll be hard to tell from the floor on the outside. We've already got the, I guess they call this wrap. I always just called it the front of the ceiling. I don't know. But anyway, whatever you want to call it, we're going to measure down from this one by four right here on center. Six and an eighth. So we gotta go out front and go down six and an eighth on the center of the board that we're going to put. So let's go do that. Six and an eighth, and this is the board we're talking about because our window, this is the bottom right here for the window. Right here, that's the bottom sill, the bottom plate for the window. We were six and one eighth. So we're gonna come down here at six and one eighth. I'm gonna bring it all the way out here and kind of turn the corner on it. I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing, six and one eighth, turn the corner. Now, I have already measured and cut this stringer. That's what I'm calling them today. Somebody will correct me. But anyway, that's 78 inches directly across. And I'm going to put it on the center because when we put the table on, we don't want the table up here, we don't want the table down here. The strength is in the center. So we've got to put this sixth and an eighth on center. So here we go. I've already drilled the holes and put these screws in so you didn't have to sit here all day and look at my crazy shorts because it's almost summer here. All right, there we go. I think I'm going to put this one up first as well. Just one on the top here. I don't know what it's like where you're at, but where I'm at, it was 81 degrees today. Two days ago, I had to start a fire. I mean, not in here, but in my fireplace to keep warm. I don't know, it's, uh, but I guess that's what spring is all about. It was crazy, crazy. All right, anyway, enough about my living situation. Here's what we're looking for. Down six, let's just measure it in the middle and make sure we're pretty close to that. Real close, real close to the middle. Now we're gonna go back in and we're going to install that backing plate where it connects, the backing connector for our dinette table right there. Hey, great shadows, great camera work. Glad you tuned in. I made a mark halfway right here. Halfway here and then halfway from here to here is right there. This needs to match with this. At sixth and an eighth. Yeah, it's there. So really, I just gotta get my first one or two in and make sure that I am close on my mark. And man, I feel pretty good, right? Right there, really. Oh! Oh, and you hear that? That's when you know it. That's when you know it. All right, what did I do with my level? Okay. Hey, genius. It's right here. All right. I'm sure Russ went double time on that so you didn't have to watch it or cut it out, I hope. But here, we're going to make sure because we know we're level. Right here. Exactly right there. Okay, now we need to put some more screws in and then we'll keep it level right in at our sixth and one eighth. Yeah, here's the ooga ooga, you know you're doing good.
All right. We are in. We should be good. Let's test it, though. Now, remember, this is that one that fits inside and hooks up. So we got to go in up here like this. Get it set in there. Well, I say that. All right, let's get in there. There we go. Boom, right there. Right there. How about this? Perfect, right on. We don't have our cushions in here yet. But hey, how about this? Done. Sitting pretty. I love it. All right. That's uh, project number two. Let me go see if I can find you another project to knock out before we move on. All right, instead of project number three, we're gonna do a tip of the day. My crap production crew here told me that I should give you this tip. Really, it was Jim. Jim thought it was a good idea. But my crap production crew said that I should go ahead and let you see how this should lay in here. Now, you think that if it sits up like this, you could just sit it down like this, right? If it's up, just put it down straight away, right? Get in there. But if you did and you went to get up right here, whoopsie, you're going to tumble out. So your camping tip of the day is this is how you want to put your table in. Get in there. This is how you want your table to go in. Like this, with the rounded end towards the front. I've made that mistake. Don't be me. Don't make that mistake. 